Hi, in this video I will show you all that when I was comparing my video uh, editor system. So uh, actually I bought a new Ryzen 1800X. Uh, this uh, is a brand new machine. This uh, with a new processor like this one. You see this uh, Ryzen on a X370 board. <coughs> and the important thing on uh, this question was uh, how uh, how much improves the system when I render a YouTube video because I make a lot of YouTube videos. I just take my uh, my my cam my webcam my cam make some videos outside and then I for this contest I took this uh, Olympus video. I've cut it down to three minutes and then I was rendering it for YouTube uh, format, so 90, full HD. So this is 19, uh, thousand, uh, 1920 versus um, 1080 pixels and uh, frame rate by 25 uh, frames per second. So this is a uh, default stuff what uh, a lot of people have to do, uh, a lot of YouTubers want to do and so uh, I'm a, uh, a lightweight YouTuber <laughs> and I was, uh, when I've set up now this uh, new uh, system, I was uh, astonished about the values and I expected a little bit more so I expected that I would uh, make a new uh, with this m machine I would create a new video and then push the button and then the video, video would be done. So this is not exactly what happens but it's close to that. Okay and that's what I show you here. I measured it and all uh, all results are only <laughs> good when uh, when you measure it. So uh, I took this uh, five minutes video uh, in MOV uh, format and I converted it to a MP4 format uh, with a lower frame rate. And um, so the machine was calculating all the time. Uh, and my results there were okay uh, I've checked several video editing systems and so I said okay the first one was uh, in Germany we had the Movavi which was really fa the fastest one it's uh, very cheap software it um, um, costs about uh, 30 euros or 30 bucks you know uh, so this one made about 70% faster when running on a Ryzen 1800X and the same one is for DaVinci Resolve 12. Uh, those, uh, those systems which we see there, it's uh, Movavi, DaVinci, Camtasia, Shotcut, Premiere, Adobe Premiere Elements, Magix, Video Deluxe and Vegas Studio. They all look the same. They are all like this one, like Camtasia, which is uh, very well known. Uh, so you always have the system, uh, you may drop your media in there, then you have a timeline, you're cutting something, you say okay cut, and then you make so, drop something in there and then you render it. So, and I was comparing in the background and I already see there is a, I didn't compare it against the uh, Surface tablet, so uh, there was my Sony, um, my Sony i7 system i7 uh, and the version is 2670 though this is uh, some years old but it was very working very well if we s you will see the results then and uh, and now on the right side you see the, uh, and the this pretty new machine on Ryzen uh, and there we see the fastest one was Movavi, then we had Da Vinci, and then Camtasia uh, version 15, and we had the Shotcut. Shotcut is for free, uh, so this was also a little bit faster. And we also had here Adobe Premiere Elements. When you watch some videos, then you will always see those guys uh, sitting there and say, Oh, buy some Adobe Premiere Elements. This is uh, quite easy. Uh, or take the full version, the cloud version. Uh, but it's uh, for me, it's uh, expensive. You see, uh, those Adobe Premiere Elements also made uh, from the i7 to the Ryzen uh, 1800 uh, made about 30% faster. 
and then we had um, this strange st uh, stuff from my Magic's video deluxe. Now this is uh, also very um, very common software which is about 50 euros uh, around this one it's pretty good it works very stable but uh, when when running on the as a 32-bit machine on my i7 uh, machine then it uh, needed about uh, 200 seconds for this three minutes video and when I run the same stuff on a uh, first and uh, first version on my uh, I Ryzen 1800X then <laughs> the the, uh, the other system needs a lot more time so I was very astonished and this was happened by the uh, by the version itself was a 32-bit machine and now when taking the same one as uh, the, the latest version as a test edition then even this one needs more time so uh, I was not happy about that but the system itself uh <coughs> the software was uh, is pretty good for working it's uh, okay for the uh, price uh, value is uh, very good so uh, as a result you see there uh, all the machines make a lot more uh, more speed so if this if <coughs> if you save about 70 percent you're uh, able to work two, two times to take a coffee and uh, now the final result on this uh, comparison is that <coughs> unfortunately the Magix video deluxe is the slowest one they have a um, uh, another version edition which is called Vegas movie but I, f I found it on the net uh, but this is not uh, I don't know why they have this version it was faster but uh, it had a lot of faults there and um, some mistakes which were not running on my system okay and uh, but you know 30 bucks is a uh, less than the Camtasi which is on uh, which costs about 200 uh, US dollars and so this is for 200 dollars is pretty much but it's uh, the easiest way to create a software unfortunately the professional software DaVinci Resolve 12 um, was was the fast one of the fastest one but they have no editor in there. You m you're not able to take um, a text label on there or to do some pixeling and uh, some notes there. And uh, for cutting, it was okay. And for re-rendering, re it's uh, the best. But I don't know why they didn't have. It's it's a professional software. It's absolutely top. But unfortunately, I didn't find the points uh, out. Uh, to to do some let's say common stuff I don't understand it because they would <laughs> make a lot of money if, if they would use it in there and then we have finally the fastest one which was <laughs> Movavi this is the cheapest one and no nah, they're not the cheapest one the shortcut is for free shortcut was also a good deal it's for free cost nothing and it renders faster than, uh, faster than Adobe but uh, you have to also do uh, hard work on those video editing when you tape a label there or some there you have uh, you have a lot of stuff but it's you know you have to do uh, a lot by yourself and Movavi is um, that's uh, let's say a lightweight edition but you have only one timeline there that's uh, I was missing this on this point very much because um, so it's a, a cheap version you may take a video in there and cut it and that's it okay and um, this was not the best version uh, unfortunately because it was the cheapest one this one was too expensive for the needs what sh what they bring there shortcut was free uh, uh, Magix video unfortunately this uh, let's say uh, price value it's okay but but slow and for this one i could also use my <laughs> my old machine <laughs> and the 30 bit machine i don't know why uh, uh also the machine was running at high speed <laughs> all cpus and um maybe i should write my own software <laughs> camtasia so so that i make my uh camtasia by myself uh 
And uh, so my last words on that point is uh, um, in some comparisons you will find uh, former Microsoft uh, stuff, but Microsoft uh, doesn't uh, has no no video editing anymore. And when they run it on Universal Windows platform, uh, I think this uh, will not work because uh, they have good stuff and easy, uh, but the UWP package is uh, has some uh, lacks on the point it was a video it was a more a uh, phone or a, you make make an app not an application that's the point that's my private opinion <laughs> so if you want to have some uh, further i have some further ideas about that point call me and uh, i have uh, i wish you good luck on your own system